Welcome to the 8th part of Blender Beginner Series. In this episode, I will show you how to animate this rocket. So we are done with the lighting, we are done with the materials, everything is cool. In order to animate the rocket, by default, we have this timeline down there. I will just expand it and let me walk you through the interface here. So timeline starts with the zero frame and goes all the way to whatever you type here. So if you want 150, it will go to 150. If you want to 500, it will expand. And now you need to go and uh, use control and middle mouse button. So, or press home to see everything home on a keyboard. Okay, so I don't want my animation to be that long. Let's go back to 250 for now. And uh, yeah, let's zoom in this with the mouse wheel. And now also we need to open this output properties. So here, among the other settings, among the resolution and a uh, few other aspect ratio, etc., we have a frame rate. So you can choose any frame rate like your camera settings frame rate is exactly the same. If you're not familiar with that, well, then I will just quickly uh, explain you something. A regular movie type frame rate was 24, but today's YouTube video, etc., are like 30 frames per second. Also 60 frames per second means that you have more frames in uh, same time, uh, time frame. And basically you can slow down your video, have a slow motion. The more frame you have, like 240, you, you can create really nice slow motion uh, movies and slow motion footage. So if you use 250, for example, for the rocket, you can create really nice artistic approach with some really fast movements and then really cool slow motion. But that means that you will render even more frames and your rendering time will be much longer. So we don't want that. I will stick with 24 for this example, or maybe to be round number 25. So that means that for a 10 second video, I need 25 multiplied by 10, 250 frames. If I want 10 second video, if I want less, for example, I want maybe uh, five second video. So it will be obviously 125 frames. So maybe let's let's go something like that. Maybe one 100, maybe 100 frames. So that means that I will have just four second video. And that's pretty cool for this example, because we will create a rocket that will practically have infinite loop. Okay, that's that. Now on the left side here, I will do something else. But let me first show you how to animate. First, let's go back to the zero. And before you animate anything before you do your animation, you need to set your camera. I already set the camera in previous episodes, but let me walk you a little bit better through the process. So basically, you can see we have our camera right here. And you remember how we set a camera and on a keyboard and we went to the view and uh, just place the camera in the scene, press zero on a keyboard and click camera to view. And then we can move the camera and uh, basically see what we want to see and set a camera where you want to have it. That's one way to do it. Also here you can set the resolution. So maybe I want a uh, full HD wide like landscape view. So uh, it's 1920 by 1080. So this is it. And now my camera will see only that that portion come on, that portion that is right here. If we want to change that, go camera to view and go and zoom it something like that. Also in the camera settings, right here, we can set the, the focal length. So we can have it really nice zoomed or really wide angle depends what you want to achieve. 50 mil is default. And I believe it for this example, 50 mil because it's pretty cool. And you can now decide the format. So decide it for yourself. So for example, I want this to put as an Instagram post, I will go with 1080 by 1350. This is the default Instagram post and I will move it somewhere something like this. It's pretty cool. Also, I will press N here and uh, uncheck this because I don't want to accidentally move my camera. So I can always go back to camera if I move mouse by pressing zero on a keyboard. Okay, perfect. Now to in order to animate something, you need to parent things together. We already did that 
uh, in a previous episode. So now we are ended up with the base and everything else is parent to the base. So if we want to rotate the base, let's go here to our 3D viewport and top view. Press R, press, uh, press R, press Z, not the light, but the base. R and Z and you can see we can rotate this around Z axis and we are rotating only the launch pad here because everything is parent to that. If I click only on this uh, smoke part here and then rotate, I will just rotate that smoke part because it's not parent to anything else. So remember we are animating the launch pad. Okay, the last item in that chain of uh, parenting things. In order to animate, you need to press I on a keyboard. So we are going first to the zero frame here, press I and we will have this insert keyframe menu and we want to animate only the rotation. We don't want to animate scale, we don't want to animate location or anything else. For this really simple process, just press rotation and it will uh, enter the first keyframe right here. Then we can go and say, for example, I want to go to the middle, to 50th frame, just for fun. And I want to rotate this rocket by pressing R and Z, and I want to rotate it by 180 degree. And now if I press I and rotation, it will add the next keyframe. So you can see if I press play or click on the space bar on the keyboard, I'm having this. That's perfect. So. I have my really cool animation, half of a circle. So if I go back to 100, not back, but forward to 100 and say, okay, R, Z and 180 and press I and rotation, you will see now how this goes. It goes like the full circle and it will stop where it started. But in order to have an infinite loop, we need to end this uh, just a little bit before before because the first frame now and the second frame now uh, the first frame and the last frame now are exactly the same so we need to end it just before that and i will show you now how so we can go press n on a keyboard and go right here to the item and you can see all of these three axes are now in the process of an animation we could disable x and y axis but i want to do this for this example so basically what i like to do now is to go here to the last frame and say I want one degree less. So 350, not 60, but 59 degree here. And uh, this is this is I and rotation. So I want that. And now if I go right here and press play, see how cool is it? is going from zero all the way to 359 and then starts again back from zero because 360, the full circle is the same like a zero here at the beginning. So now that we set with this, I will show you another cool trick and that's to go in this view from this 3D viewport, let's go to dope sheet. And yeah, we don't want dope sheet. Here we could, we could uh, basically, let me see, yeah, we can basically delete X and Y axis, so they are not animating here at all. If you want to do that, now you know it, go to dope shit. You don't need to do it, uh, but that's one cool thing to do it. But I want to go to graph editor actually. So graph editor, press N to hide this. Graph editor, if you click uh, this object that you are animating and press home right here, you will see our graph here. And uh, also we have different keyframes here and we can edit this we can we can basically change how this how this works and uh, let me explain you something here the x-axis here is basically our timeline so from 0 to 100 frames from 0 to 100 frames and this y-axis is basically degree of rotation and it goes from 0 to 300 and 59 right here. Also, you can see it here. So we can have some fun here by moving these, these points. So we can go really, really fast to start really fast and end really fast. So see now how it looks. Start, same speed, and it will add, end in the same speed. So it will start 
the same speed that it will end because it's like linear. But if we go right here and move this a little bit like that and move this even steeper like this. So that means that it will go slowly and then faster and again slowly and then again faster. So watch this. It will go slow and then fast and then slow and then again fast. So with this you can play however you want with the animation. Also this one you can animate. Maybe maybe like this. See now it will go slow then fast. It will stop practically and then go again. So do experiment, do however you want. If you press control and click somewhere here, you can with the left click, you can add another keyframe like we are adding here. And also you can have even more, even more fun. So see the animation now. Yeah, it's a choppy, but it's cool practice. So I will undo everything and advise you to do whatever you want to experiment with these. I will go with regular linear movement. Maybe here I want this to be up, maybe a little bit steeper and to move this one to move this one down. So to start and stop slowly like this, it goes slowly then start really fast and stop slowly. Okay, that's cool. We will we will end with this maybe just a little bit more here and a little bit like like this just for fun and also we can start start it like like that and let me see this end here yeah i really like it let's see okay start slowly then okay really fast and then slow slowly back maybe it is too fast in the middle so let's do it like that start slowly okay this is much better and that's it it's the same procedure if you want to animate the camera. So for example, let's go here to the 3D viewport and click the camera here and go to the zero and press I and animate location and go all the way to 100. And for example, yeah, we cannot go to 100. If this will be infinite loop. Let's go back to the middle. Okay, 50. Move the camera somewhere like wherever you want like this, press I, then location and then we want to copy this keyframe right here. So I will just select this control or command C just to copy go here to 100 frame, paste it control command V and now we will have the movement of the camera rotation of the rocket. And it is like that it's infinite loop. And you can post this on socials like infinite loop. It's really cool. Alright, so we can add a little bit more here if you want. So let me show you. Let's go back to the 50th frame, actually back to the zero. And here I want to go to front view, press one on a keyboard. And actually, let's rotate this to see the camera from the side like that. And what I like to do, I want to press I and also animate rotation and now go back to the 50th frame and move the camera R and rotate it on maybe local x axis like this. Okay, and then move it up GZ move it up like that. And then press I and add a keyframe for rotation and for location. So it will go like that. So it's going right there and going to some crazy spot because we need again to copy this keyframe control command C and back right here and paste it control or command V. And now if you play it, it goes like this and it goes back and I really like it. So why not just a little bit more dynamic to to the shot here. It's crazy like you're in on a ship and this is so you can do whatever you want. Also, you can you can go and uh, use graph editor. And with all these keyframes, you can play with the rocket. So basically, uh, not with the rocket, but with the camera. So basically, uh, you can choose rotation of any of axis, location of any of axis and just try to play to see 
what it will be and how the camera will move. So it's up to you to use this however you want. So see, we can play with this and have on any axis rotation and we can have a lot of fun here. So maybe I want like this and see, see now going there and quickly up and go back there. So obviously I don't want to do that, but that's an option just to show you that you can go to graph editor and play with the keyframes. This is a little bit more advanced. It's not for beginners, but I advise you just to have fun and play with this. You cannot do anything wrong. You can always undo it. So now that we finish with this, I'm not sure that I'm, I like that angle of the camera up. Maybe I do, maybe I, I like to be a little bit more down instead of up. So if you go back to 3D viewport and go back to the camera here and move the camera down like this and then rotate it on local X axis a little bit more up and also move it down. Maybe I want something like this, like the rocket is going up and now press I, location, I, rotation. Let's see what we did it now. Yeah, maybe this is better. And maybe I like this a bit better. Why not? Okay, perfect. This will conclude the animation process. I really like it. You can do it however you want. Now let's go to the next episode where I will teach you how to render it. And also I will add another light or two just to add even more interest to the rocket smoke that I forgot actually to add in the light part, but it's never too late until it's done. See you in the next video.